Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Dead Pixel Robert here, and it's been a while since a live story. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I've been just I've been doing streaming and school and all this other BS that I have to deal with. But I've got a twofer for you today, and they I think they happened within the same month actually. Um, so I used to live back home in Texas and everything, and it's home for me. <clears throat> I didn't live that far from my middle school, and I didn't... I, I just always rode my bike to school, and then I'd always ride home with my friend. This Friday... Uh, I think it was the Friday before Thanksgiving, and me and my... We just... Me and my friend just got out of school. We are like, let's go, like, hang out. So, we were just riding around our neighborhood after school, and, like, there was this little trail that led off into a wooded path area... <clears throat> And it went on for a good while, and then once you get to the end, there's, um, like, you you turn you can turn around and, like, just walk back, and that's about it. It was like, you go to that, and then you just turn back. So, me and my friend went down this path on our bikes. That was a wrong idea. We got to the end of the bike path, or the, the path, and there was a whole bunch of gang members doing drugs and selling drugs and all of this. And this is, like, when I knew really nothing about drugs at all. I just knew that they were bad for you. And I was like, uh, shit. And I looked at my friend and I was like, let's go, now. And then one of them starts to get up, and we're, we're fucking gone. And they start screaming at us, come back, come back here. I'm like, oh, fuck, what did we get ourselves into? And, like... It was insane. We got out, and then we thought we lost them and everything, so we're just riding normally. And I had my headphones back in and everything, and I had a, a hoodie on, so he grabbed the... One of the guys caught up to me and grabbed me and dragged me off my fucking bike and just, like, pinned me to the ground, yelling at me, like, are you going to call the cops? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? I'm like, no... And, like, me, I'm an 8th grader at this point. Like, I am so innocent and just, like, terrified for my fucking life. It's like, oh, I don't know. But my friend, this motherfucking hero, bless his soul. You know when you jump off a bike and the bike keeps going, it's like a ghost rider? Yeah, that's what my friend did. He jumped off his bike, went straight into this guy. It hit him, and he fell on it. Like, he fell over. I picked my bike up. My friend picked his up. He's like, dude, let's get the fuck out of here right now. I was like, uh, yeah. So me and him bike back to his house. We put our bikes in his garage and everything and we tell his parents. His parents call the cops and the cops come to question us and everything. It's just that is one, probably the top five scariest moments in my life for one. And then, um... Excuse me, guys. I'm just really thirsty. But um, this one, this one actually happened right before Christmas break. So I ended up um, bending the front rim of my tire for my bike, so I couldn't ride my bike anymore. So I was riding my penny board, and God, do I miss that thing! But like, I was just riding home. I was on the phone with my friend Mackenzie because me and her are just really close friends. And we were going to hang out that night, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, and the way that the neighborhood I lived in is, it was kind of up on a, kind of like a slant. So it was like a whole bunch of houses. And then at the end of the street, it was a house, like a small patch of like grass that goes down. And then a cement wall that's maybe three feet high. So you can just like sit on it because from where it drops down to, it drops down to the uh, the sidewalk. So you could sit there for a minute, rest, get water, and all that, basically. So that's what I did, because, like, my legs were really tired, because I had to go uphill, as it is, from where I lived to the house that I was living at at that time. And so I was like, I'm tired, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to drink water, and I'm going to talk to my friend Kenzie. And I was sitting on the phone, and there's this white Golf GTI that 
pulls over to the side. I was like, oh, they, I guess they live here because, like, they turn their car off and everything. And I'm on the phone looking, like, she's on speaker, and I'm looking down at my phone because my mom texted me asking when am I, when am I going to be home and all that. And this guy and this girl come up to me, and they're like, hey, come here. You want to hang out with us? I was like, no, I don't know who you are. And, like, they start getting closer and closer to me. And I'm like, um, I'm on the phone. I need to go. And then, like, the guy, like, swiped at me. And I was like, oh, fuck no. This is not happening. I am not getting kidnapped today. So I basically picked my penny board up, whacked this guy in the arm. He ended up, like, tumbling over onto his his girlfriend or whoever she was and they got in their car and then started chasing me they chased me up and down um, one of these streets and then I ended up cutting through um, someone's backyard and then I jumped a fence and I was back onto a main road so I just went to the first open garage that I saw and I was like help someone's trying to kidnap me they're following me right now they're in a white in a white golf GTI And what I didn't know is the person's house that I went to, he's a cop. He was off duty, and he was just relaxing, um, I think, cleaning his guns or something. And he closed his garage, and then he he called the cops, and they're like, did you get a license plate? I need a description of the male and the female and all that. And it was just like... It, the world scares me now. Cause like, let's see, this eighth grade. I was thirteen, I think. Yeah, that seems about right. Thirteen, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a child, and that, that scared the shit out of me. Like, why? Like, there's sick people out there, and these, like, these two people that came up to me looked like they were the nicest people in the world. Like, they were dressed nice and everything, it was just like, oh my god. It's just, like, scary to think about what could have happened. Cause that's pretty fucking sketchy. But, um, they ended, they did end up, um, catching those two the guy and the girl, because they almost, they tried kidnapping a another child right in front of their parents, and the parents got the license plate and everything, and they ended up getting caught, but, like, damn. This world scares me sometimes. But, not to end it off on a sad note, um, I will be, I'm traveling soon, probably the 6th, and I'm going to be vlogging that whole trip because... I'm actually, I know I'm going to have fun on this trip, and it's me and then the guys that I play Counter-Strike with, Bryce and Tyler, I'm going to go meet them, and so you guys can see them, and the people that I've been streaming with, I've been streaming with Tyler almost every day on Fortnite, and like, being able to meet people that you play games with, and like, internet friends is awesome, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys that you made it this far, this has been Robert of the Dead Pixel. As always, guys, have a good day and peace out.